असलम कैसे हैं आप ठीक हूँ आप कैसे हैं मैं भी ठीक हूँ सो वी आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग दिस वन द साइन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज सो दिस इज द कनेक्शन विद द लास्ट लेक्चर एक्चुअली वी विल हैव टू बी वेरी मच केयरफुल अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ दिस ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज आई एम श्योर दैट यू नो दैट व्हाट इज साइन को साइन एंड टेंजेंट एंड आई एम आल्सो sure that you can recall the reciprocals of these uh, ratios what i mean to say what is the reciprocal of cosine it's like cosine negative 1 oh reciprocal mean okay. oh like oh the six ratios when we are inverted these uh, what was that so kaha toa oh so ka to oh, so yeah so ka toa so katoa and when we are reversing when we are uh, just uh, putting the reciprocals we are getting something else so what i mean to say that is secant cosecant cotangent can you recall that uh i th- i think so okay um, okay 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 we will check it so anyhow the signs yeah, of trigonometric okay. ratios so this is the topic of the day so please if you can read this one Sure. Consider a circle with the center zero and radius r units. Let the circle cut the x axis at the a and the a prime and the y axis at the b and b prime. Let p uh, be x comma y be at any point in the circumference of the circle. Join OP. Let the radius vector OP make an angle with Angle zero or angle theta, angle o theta 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 it's a theta uh, angle th- theta yes with the positive x axis uh what's that three dots mean uh, therefore oh therefore angle x o p is equal to theta and o p is equal to r or radius draw p m uh perpendicular to uh x axis therefore om is equal to x and pm is equal to y okay now let's see uh, you can see this uh, diagram over here so yes. uh, we have a unit circle what i say the radius is 1 and then this circle is there on the x axis over here and this is the origin and this is a mutually perpendicular line y axis we called it this is called the next negative part of the x axis and this is the negative part of the y axis so it is cutting over here so the value of x is r which is the radius of this circle right, right. are you getting this yeah and yeah. Uh, this point this other abscissa is the abscissa r the ordinate is zero as x is uh, x is r distance from origin to this one and the height is no way that's why zero okay then then b is similarly x as zero and uh, y is r because this is the height which is the radius right, of yeah. the same so if you are coming to the other way on the left hand side the negative x axis so a prime that's why this is a and this is prime so yeah. this only the sign will change we have the negative value on the zero left on the uh, left side of the zero so we have okay. minus r that is r is the radius and there is no height up and down so y is zero so coming back to the this one so b prime so this is down so that's why x is zero and y is minus r so i am sure that you are getting this so from yeah. this point p x y any point this p p is uh, any point x is the distance from the origin to the right on the x axis and y is the height so they, this is the look at just like this one this one so now we have the right angle triangle and there is a theta in this point p is going up along the circle circumference of this so this will be over here so there is a theta that is the angle of measurement theta and we have this one perpendicular and this was a point we are joining this to the origin origin is 0 0 now we have a right angle triangle over here 
can you see this right angle yeah. right angle triangle opm or xop what i mean to say the angle xop is theta and pr what i mean to say this one this one is the radius of the circle pr yeah. now this is a perpendicular and this is the base of this right angle triangle that triangle is a uh, p o m or m o p so this is the right angle triangle where the this m is 90 degree right angle over here so if you are getting this uh, diagram so yeah. this will definitely make the uh, what i mean to say the ratios if you are looking uh, now you will have to recall that soho uh, koho koha toyo whatsoever that was so yeah. the sign is from this triangle sign is opposite to the perpendicular or i mean to say sign s o h sign opposite y over x am i right what is right. sign what is sign in this triangle sign theta of this angle theta a uh, which angle o oh. uh, theta theta oh. this is theta we call it oh, theta oh right okay sin theta. theta okay sin theta is so sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse which is yeah. y over r absolutely right what is cosine cosine is um what would it be where is uh, it's x yeah x over r oh yes co co so so co to so what yeah. you can call it so what is tangent in this triangle uh it's x over y yes to a tangent opposite oh wait no it it's is. y over x yes y, y over x y over x that's why i am repeating that opposite over adjacent anyhow so this is all about the uh, what uh, we can say the trigonometry so what we are calling that the trigonometric ratios so we are just going to move to the next one that is now we have what we have p point is x y coordinates i mean to say uh, in the x axis so p uh, is x y m is x 0 because at m point x is the parallel length y height is 0 at a point r 0 as we have seen in the last one so b is 0 r and a prime is opposite to that minus now we have on the left hand side we are moving to the left of the zero so that's why this radius will become uh, minus so it's a uh, minus r and zero and b prime is opposite to the height that was this one so that's why we have a negative zero negative only now let uh, try from try right angle triangle pmo from a right angle triangle we have so this if you can see this one sin theta is y over r as you were saying right right and cosine theta you are saying x over r and tangent theta y over x so this is this is all yeah. about that uh, so i am sure that you are very much uh, sure about all these values that how we are getting the ratios of these three trigonometric ratios sin theta y opposite over the hypotenuse or and this one is the cos the adjacent to the hypotenuse tangent is the ratio uh, between the opposite to the adjacent anyhow r represent the magnitude length of the radius vector op it is always positive so r is always positive because it's a radius of the circle in this way om and pm represent the horizontal and the vertical so that was op om that is on the right hand side and pm the perpendicular drawn from p uh, point on the x axis so that's a pm represent the uh, horizontal and vertical displacement components of point p hence they can be positive or negative depending upon the quadrant in which the radius vector op lies so what i mean to say uh, look at this one so this is all about that that this is the p the coordinate of the point p is x y so the perpendicular is on x axis so it's uh, meeting the x axis at m so p m is y and om is length is x and this is the r 
so r is the radius of the circle so when we are moving along this so according to the position this will may become positive or negative anyway so anyhow uh, just coming uh, going to the next one is that was the what are you talking about that the radius vector and then this is the whole story what i mean to say look at this uh, are you with okay. me are you listening yeah okay so it's very simple look at this the quadrant we have the four quadrant now we four quadrant of a circle that this circle has been divided into four equal parts uh, by these two uh, mutually perpendicular lines x axis and y axis meeting at the point o so first quadrant here the theta is the angle uh, mayor uh, angle mayor remain less than 90 what i mean to say that must be greater than 0 theta and uh, less than 90 am i right are you getting this theta yeah. theta is in the if it is in the first quadrant then it uh, must be between 0 and 90 yeah right uh yeah. between between if you are just taking at zero so this will be coincide with the x axis if you are taking 90 degree it will coincides with the uh, y axis so that right. must be somewhere in between so x is sign look at the sign x is positive y is also positive am i right x the yeah. distance along the x axis and y the distance along the y axis so both must be positive because we are in the first quadrant so sin theta is as you know the opposite to the hypotenuse so y over r so x is positive so r is positive everything is positive so positive divided by positive cosine is x over r x over r so okay adjacent over hypotenuse so x is positive r is also positive tangent theta is y over x as you know so y is positive in the first quadrant and x is also positive so positive over positive so remarks from here what we can say sin is positive cosine is positive tangent is positive so all positive am i right are you getting right. this yeah yeah okay so when you are in the first quadrant or in otherwise if the angle lies between 0 to 5 to 0 to 90 degree so everything is positive what i mean to say sin cosine and tangent and their reciprocals all the six trigonometric ratios must be positive all positive so are you getting this all positive yeah okay coming to the next quadrant we are just moving to the left of the y axis so second quadrant you know what is the second quadrant so here the angle right. lies between greater than 90 now angle is moving to the left yeah y axis so this will be greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree in the second quadrant so here x is negative now because x lies on the left hand side of zero the origin am i right x is yeah, negative right. and y is still remain the positive because it's a upper portion of the y axis that is above the zero and we can say sin theta y over x so y is positive r is positive sin theta is positive cos sin theta now x is negative and y is positive so it's a negative cos sin theta is negative now tangent theta so one is x and y one is positive and the second right, is negative yeah. so we can say only the sin theta is positive in the third quadrant now we are just coming down third one we are just increasing that theta is greater than 180 now coming down the line and uh, 270 less than 270 so it's in the third quadrant third one so negative x is negative now it's a uh, on the left hand side of the zero and below the zero that's why both are x is negative y is negative so that's why sin theta y over r r is always positive as we say so y is negative so negative okay. and in this way x is also negative so both are negative so only the tangent tangent is positive because 
sin theta is negative cosine is negative tangent is negative into negative so this will become positive when the x is negative y is negative so negative is gone with this negative so we right, have yeah. tangent positive uh, coming to the last one so we are just uh, anti clockwise moving to the fourth quadrant yeah. i will show the, those quadrant just wait for a while sure. so uh, theta is uh, 270 now theta is crossing the y axis the negative y axis just crossing so theta is becoming greater than we are calculating it anti clockwise so it's a great, becoming greater than 270 but still less than 360 not completing the scale so uh, it's uh, just less than 360 here the x is positive coming back to the right of the uh, zero y that's uh, below the zero that's a negative so r is always positive y over r so negative over positive positive over positive this will remain positive and uh, x uh, y is negative r is so this will be negative this will be positive and we have what we can say only the cause is positive here the sign is positive here the cause is positive so i should uh, what i mean to say that i should just uh, note down this uh, complete it so here we can say the sign is positive the sign okay. positive here we should write the cause positive am i right yeah that seems right to me okay if you are just uh, tangent is positive that's all easy to return so cause is positive over here anyhow when we are just uh, going back to that one so this will be uh, look at this the if you are getting this uh, table so the next will be so simple in a way that if you have all these calculations in your mind it's uh, so simple now oh, let's see the next one is next one let me check the next one is okay this one is so in this first quadrant all of the trigonometric ratios are positive this is the first quadrant are you getting this right yeah i, I can yeah this is the first quadrant the angle is from here to here uh, let me draw if you are just interested so this will be from here to here this will be the right. theta theta and this theta is that if you are considering this line and this line so this will be of the 90 degree so this must be in this way that is the theta is less than 90 degree pi by 2 pi by 2 is in 90 degree and greater than 0 so this is somewhere at the x-axis and this is the negative x-axis and this is positive y and similarly we have the negative y over here so in this first quadrant everything is sine cosine all so that's why we are used to say a positive all and coming over here okay. now the theta is just turning around this way and stopping over here so now theta is this one so what i mean to say that starting from here so it must be greater than 90 theta is so all the positive in first quadrant yeah. all the positive so we have the next one is next one is just like that so i have uh, this one is the second one let me clear all the time okay can you see this one yes so here once again we can draw what i mean to say the theta is just coming over here right so this is the theta so this is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 less right? than 180 yeah so here you can see that here we have the origin o so the o is this one this is not the theta this is o the origin and here x is becoming negative and y remain positive so sign is what y over the r so y is positive r, yeah so that's why exactly, only yeah. the sign and its reciprocal is positive that's why in the second quadrant only sine and cosecant cosecant is what the reciprocal of sine are you getting this 
Okay. Yeah. Reciprocal sign. One of our sign is cosecant. Cosecant. Okay. Are okay. positive, and all other ratios are negative. So just uh, moving to the next one. What I mean to say, the third quadrant. Yes. Please uh, read this one if you can read this. Sure. Uh, the third quadrant only ten. Uh, what's it called again? Tangent or tan theta, tan theta ten. or theta, theta, ten. theta, theta, tan theta, and cut um, theta are positive and all other ratios are negative. Tangent is positive, so we are here in this. So here we will get the angle. This one, this one, x is negative, y is also negative. Coming down, are you agree with this? X yeah, is negative, so this will be an angle will be greater than one eighty and less than two seventy. Less than two seventy. So that's why uh, when both are negative, they are canceling each other. The tangent is what? To a t o a opposite or adjacent. So opposite yeah. side or adjacent side, both are x and y. So both are negative, so that's why they are canceling each other. So we will get the positive. And tangent is one over tangent is cotangent. We call it cot theta are positive, and all other ratios sine, cosine, cosecant, secant, everything is negative. All the other fours are negative. So uh, just moving to the next one, that is the last one. So here now we have this angle. If we have the angle over here. So this will become greater than 270, but less than 360. Am I right? So it is completing the yeah. whole circle. So that's why right. 360 degree, less than 360. Here, Y is negative, X is positive. Cause is X over R. So X is positive, both are the positive. So cosine and it's reciprocal. That's why in the fourth quadrant, only cosine theta, your cos theta, and secant theta. Secant is the reciprocal of cos. One over cos is secant or positive. And all other ratios are negative. Are you getting this? Yeah. So what we can say, please read this one. Sure. Um, following figure is useful, useful in remembering the signs of trigonome trigonometric ratios. Yes. So quadrant one is all positive. Quadrant two is only sine is positive. Quadrant three is tan positive and quadrant four is cosine positive. So what we can say A S T C. If you can A A for all, S sine okay. is reciprocal, T tangent and reciprocal, C. So you can write if you are just going this way, so you can read it cost. Or you can A S T. Okay. Any anyhow, you can just remember in this way that this is a s t a s t c a a s t c so uh, a for all positive in the first quadrant this is the first so it will be first quadrant this is the second it will be second this is the third it will be third quadrant this is the four letter it will be fourth one so from here, we can say that in the first quadrant, all are positive. In the second quadrant, so sine is positive and its reciprocal is positive. In the third quadrant, the tangent is positive and its reciprocal is also positive. So in the fourth quadrant, only the cosine its reciprocal is positive. Then all the others are negative. So negative, yeah. this is the way just to what I can say, recall all these values. When uh, all positive, the theta must be, what must be about the theta? Uh, it's a very important. Uh, now we are just uh, coming to the conclusion that we'll have to make a mind map. So if all values are positive, what about the theta? So theta must be. All negative? No. Since it's. All positive, all positive. So theta must be between that it must be greater than oh, zero, right. greater than zero. And, yeah, and less than, than 90. Oh yes, absolutely right, you are getting now. So we will have to decide the values of the trigonometric ratios on this theta. 
And last time we have seen that these ratios are depending upon the angle, not the length of the sides. Am I right? Right. Okay. So positive or negative, we will have to decide. If the theta is between 0 and 90 degree, then each and everything is positive. What I mean to say, the sign is positive. It's reciprocal cosecant is positive. The cause is positive. And what is its reciprocal? Secant. Up. Secant. We have to spell that. Like it's just CK. Secant. S E C A N T. Secant. Cause. C O S C. Cause. Its reciprocal is secant. So secant is positive. And then okay. that should be what I mean to say that theta, if you are just getting the sign is positive and its reciprocal is positive. So what about the theta? You will have to just talk about this. In the second quadrant, we are moving to the second quadrant. Okay. So in the second coordinate or chord, it would be um, 90. Greater than 90. To, greater yeah, than oh yeah, 90. greater than 90 and um, less than 180. Oh yes, absolutely right. So whenever you have the this value of theta, so you must say only the sine and the opposite of sine is the re, uh, reciprocal of sine. Cosecant. Oh, cosecant. Cosecant? Ah, yes, C O S E C A N T, cosecant. That is the reciprocal of sine. What I mean to say, one over sine. One over sine is cosecant. Anyhow, when the theta lies between 90 degree and 180 degree, so you must say that only the positive value is sine and it's a reciprocal. All the other uh, trigonometric ratios okay. are negative. Okay. Am I right? Am I right? Are you getting okay, this? Yeah, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm getting okay, it. Okay, yes. That in the third quadrant, that is the tangent is positive. What I mean to say, tan and cot, tangent and cotangent, tangent and the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, C O T A N G E N T, cotangent. So usually we write it C O T, cot, T A N, tan. So tangent is positive only all the other values are negative so what should right. be the theta what should be the value of theta over here so it must be less than or greater than to what value okay so it's less than 180 and greater than two okay uh, yes. or... once again just repeat what you are saying sure uh so it's less than uh 180 less than 180 Think oh, sorry, greater, greater than. Greater oh, than yes, absolutely. It must be greater than 180. Now the diagram is in front of you. So, and, and less than, less so than what? Less than 270? Oh, yes, absolutely right. Yeah, if you are okay. adding the 90 more to Nine, 180, you yeah. will get the 270 exact digits. So, theta, if the theta is 180 and less than 180 and uh, less than 1270 and greater than 180 that is in the third quadrant so you must say only the tangent is positive all the other values will be negative so cosine what about the cosine so in the fourth quadrant that cosine is positive only am i right what i am saying yeah. are you getting me yeah i'm getting it okay if you're getting that so you will have to talk about the theta so theta must be that is what i mean to say uh, it'd be uh, less, sorry, greater than 270 and oh, yes. less than 360. Oh, absolutely right. This time you are with me exactly. So this is 360. So if the theta is just like that in between these two limiting values that less than 360 and greater than 270, then you must say that only in this quadrant, the cosine and the it's a reciprocal secant that is the positive. All the other values are negative. Am I right? Right, yeah. Okay, you are getting this. So uh, whenever you are asked to write the ratios, so you will have to take care of the theta. If theta, the angle is 
in between zero and 90. So you must say everything is positive. Forget about all the things, the signs, everything is positive. Sign is positive, it's reciprocal. Cosecant is positive. Cause is positive, it's reciprocal. Secant is positive and tangent is positive as well as it's uh, reciprocal cotangent is also positive so everything is positive right. if the value of theta is somewhere lies between 90 degree and 180 degrees so you must have to be extra careful that only the sign and it's a reciprocal cosecant that must be the positive all the other values right. will be negative right yeah okay okay so if the theta lies between somewhere in greater than 180 and less than 270 so you must immediately recall that this is the tangent only the tangent is positive and it's reciprocal is positive all the values will be negative what i mean to say you immediately think about that, that this must be in the third quadrant uh, similarly, the last one is if theta is less than 360 but greater than 270, so immediately you should come to know that th this must lie in the fourth quadrant. So that's why only the C is positive. What I mean to say, the cosine and its reciprocal secant is positive, all the other values are negative. I'm sure that we have done each and everything. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, if you can repeat all these things about the first sure. quadrant, the second, third, and the fourth. Sure, sure. Okay, so in the first um, quadrant, quad, quadrant, it's uh, all of them are positive, like the sine, tangent, cosine, and all the like reciprocals of them. And um, the, what's it called? The secant or no, is that the secant? the like measure is uh greater than zero and um, theta 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 oh theta yeah the theta is um greater than zero and less than 90 degrees and then um for the second quadrant quadrant the co the sine and the um cosecant yes is um it's so it's less sorry greater than 90 and uh, less than 180 degrees and then for the third quadrant quadrant um it's the tangents are only positive it's tangent and cotangent are positive and then 180 degrees so this um what do you call yeah. it? it's greater yeah. than 180 degrees and less than 270 degrees yeah yeah and then the fourth quadrant it's um greater than 270 degrees and less than 360 degrees and only the cosine and uh the cosecant secant is... secant it's a reciprocal oh, just secant secant oh, okay yeah secant. so uh, i'm Very sure positive. that you will uh, remember all these things just like your name so if anybody right. asking what is the sign of uh, secant in the third quadrant what oh the sign is tangent no no and... what uh, uh, listen carefully uh, what i am saying okay. that what is the sign of secant theta in the third quadrant oh wait is that one greater than 180 and or is that like the positive or negative oh uh, yes i'm asking about that what is the sign of secant theta in third quadrant repeating third oh, time it's positive Secant theta in third quadrant is positive. Oh, wait. oh, only no, it's oh, it's negative. It's negative. Only tangent is positive. So that's why I'm saying that uh, if uh, something is asking about that, so you must come up just like with your name. That how much time you are taking to answer the name if somebody is asking what's your name. So immediately in the fourth quadrant, what is the sign of sine theta? In the third quadrant. Fourth sign, quadrant. In fourth quadrant. Oh, fourth. A sign is negative. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that with the practice, you will come to uh, what I mean to say. The practice, practice, practice. To make the perfect. Anyhow. So <clears throat> we are just uh, uh, going to the next one. That is, we are all about the, what I think. So it's a uh, uh, look at this. Uh, this this is the last one we actually summarize all these over here so please read this column okay when p concludes with coincides uh, 
Oh, coincides. Oh, with coincides with a, a theta is zero. Theta is zero because it's a a coming down to the a line, x axis line. Right. Then yeah. x axis are y is zero. So sine okay. is zero. Okay. Cosine is one. Cosine is one. And then tangent is zero. Uh, when okay. the P is coming to the 90 coincide, 90 degree, just P is rotating to the left. So right. R is zero in the way X is zero and uh, Y is R. So sine theta is 90 degree, cosine is 90. So I, I, I will tell you uh, this uh, later on. So I have a table for that. So when theta is uh, 270, when theta is zero, the sine is zero, sine theta is zero, sine is zero, cos is one, tangent is zero. When the theta is 90 degree, then x is zero, y, uh, y is r, so sine 90 is one, sine cosine 90 degree is zero, tangent is infinity, because tangent is the ratio between sine and cosine. And when the theta is 180 degree, exactly on the co uh, coinciding on those lines, then this will be. So <laughs> this is all about that, but uh, I will have to show you one thing more is just to make uh, summarize this one. So I will have to share my whiteboard. Look at this, <laughs> that if the circle is given, if I can draw the circle from here. So look at this, if this is the circle, okay. okay. And uh, okay. if we can draw the line in this way, that this is the line, that it is dividing the circle exactly into two equal parts. What I mean to say, if I am just uh, doing the right thing, so anyhow, uh, we can say that this is the x-axis, uh, what I mean to say, the x-axis and uh, the next one is that if we can draw once again the other line which is also mutually perpendicular to this one. So if I can divide this circle into the equal, so it's just uh, what you can say just like this. Now this circle is divided into four quadrants. We can call it that this is the x-axis, what I mean to say, if it is called x-axis. Then here we can say that this is the negative x-axis. Negative x-axis. Here, if we can call it a positive y-axis, or here, the positive y-axis. Then here we should say it that it's a negative y axis. And here, if you can put the, what I can say, that uh, the origin O. So O is 0, 0 because every distance is what we can say 0, 0. 0, 0 in the sense that uh, 0, 0. Are you okay. getting this? Are you getting this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the origin. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So this is zero. zero. <clears throat> now, if this, uh, if you are just going anywhere on this, what I mean to say that, uh, let me draw the point over here, over here. Let's see if we, I can draw exactly that one. This is a point. Oh or whatsoever okay. the point is. And if once again, we can join this point to the origin, what I mean to say, if I am just starting from here and just going over there. So, and one more thing is, if we can draw the perpendicular from this point, it's very simple, just, uh, I'm just coming to the end. If you can draw right. the perpendicular over here. So now we have the right angle triangle. So we can okay. have the right, 
Uh, only uh, the last thing which I would like to say that this is just like the triangle. Here we have any angle, what I mean to say theta or whatever is. Here we have a right angle triangle and here we can draw just like that, that this is the 90 degree. 90 degree. Okay. Here we have any angle that may be theta or that. That should be of anti-clock in the direction. So <clears throat> here we call it y, value of y. So if I can just uh, locate this one as a y. So this is y and this is this distance. If I can just write like that. So this, this distance, this one, this is x axis. And this point, if we can just uh, locate this, so this is, let's suppose M, what I mean to say. Now we have a triangle, look at this, this triangle. So in this, if it is, this triangle is in what I mean to say in the first quadrant. So X is positive, Y is positive, am I right? X is distance from here to here. Y is distance from here to here. So both are positive, am I right? Hello? Right. Yeah, yeah, X, you're right. X is positive because it's along the positive X axis. And Y is also positive, yeah. it's going over up over here. Yeah. So it's a positive. Uh, similarly, if we can draw the triangle over here, what I mean to say that if you have a point now, yeah, oh, let me once again, okay. Now this time I'm not taking this much time. So that's why I'm just going to draw in this way, this. This is actually the uh, what I mean to say. Uh, let me one more attempt to draw this perpendicular line. If I can draw this one, so this is just going over here. So the, once again, we have a right angle triangle over here. So here, x is negative now. Am I right? And yeah. y is y is once again positive. So if we can draw one more triangle over here in the, this quadrant, we have one more triangle. And in this, we have another one. Now we have the four triangle. Okay. All, all these four are right angle triangle. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's see, these are the four triangle. So the most important right. thing is that here, in, in uh, the first quadrant, the triangle, both the values X and Y are positive. Am I right? Yes. Positive, both are positive. In, yeah, this, both in this X is, and Y is, you will have to talk about that. X is? Sure, the X is negative and the Y is positive. Oh yes, absolutely right. You are getting now, this is the whole story. And over here in third quadrant, X is both of them are negative. X is negative and yeah. Y is Y is negative. Yes. Negative. Okay. And the fourth one in this one, X is uh positive and Y is negative. Yes, absolutely right. So from here, whenever we have the angle major given. So it's a very simple just to write down the uh, six ratios, okay? Okay. If this diagram is given to you, what I mean to say, then what is the sign over uh, in the fourth quadrant? What is sign in fourth quadrant? Sine theta, what I mean to say sine theta, if these angles are thetas, thetas, theta, and theta. What I am asking you that sine sine theta in the fourth quadrant. Right. That would be um, negative. No, 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 I am not talking about the sign. Oh. I am looking for the ratio. This is R. Oh, okay. okay, okay this okay. is this is R. This is the R, the same, the radii. Okay. Radi so the so sign you, you, for that one would be so so y? so 
So koho roa. Yeah, so it's Y over R. So it'd be um Y yeah. over R, Y over R. Are you saying yeah. just like that? Yeah, Y over R. Sine theta, sine theta is. Oh, uh, uh, oh, wait, oh, that's the angle measure, right? Hmm. Yes. Oh my, I keep missing. Okay, um, it's less than sorry, greater than two seventy and less than three sixty. Yes. So sine is negative, but uh, one thing is that is that if you are just going through the angle what i mean to say so what is that okay uh, okay 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 uh, one thing is let, let's see if i am just making the triangle just like that uh, okay anyhow in the third quadrant it will be negative because the line has gone now but uh, this will be the sign will be negative and we will okay. have to write in the SOA, the side opposite to that angle, and the hypotenuse of that. The opposite to that okay. is that is the Y over if you are making the triangle just like that. But anyhow, uh, it will be very simple and we will do some practice just to master these ratios. And then instantly you will be able to tackle those type of the problems which we have skipped the day before the yesterday. So for all those type of the question, we are doing all this. But anyhow, I'm sure that you have got all these things about the ratios, about the angles, about the quadrant. So what you're talking about that. So I'm sure that next time you will be in a better position to answer all right. those questions. Okay. But anyhow, it's a, what we can say, it's a, uh, just a matter of practice only that if yeah. we are practicing, so we can get all type of answer. So uh, that's why this is the end from today. And next time I will, uh, that, that will be uh, on Monday, of course. Uh, so what we'll have to do during this weekend. So we will have to be uh, in a great debate that is on the psycholinguistic. So okay. if you can join that, you must join that. That must be around 9.30 p.m. over here. And uh, I think that will be afternoon over there or in the morning. Yeah. What should be the time over there? At 9.30 PST in Pakistan, standard time in the morning. So what will be over there with you? It'll be 9.30. So that'll be like, Wait, it's your nighttime, right? Uh, 9 p.m. for you, it would be uh, yes. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. or there in uh, yeah. Chicago, somewhere. Oh, anyhow, yeah. if you, you you can join the, at that time. Yeah, I, I think I can. I'll, I think I might be able to because I wake up around like 8. Oh, okay, anyway. okay. If you can wake up early in the morning, uh, we can uh, uh, delay it up to the 10 p.m. But I mean to say that we can delay 30. So I will have to announce the time today just to let me inform the all other people. So that's a very interesting. You can ask the question. One more thing is how can you join okay. us? How can you join us if you don't have the Facebook ID? So uh, the you know, I'll make a Facebook ID like right now after I get off of this class. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anytime you have a lot of time, uh, it's a Friday, then there's Saturday, then definitely there is a whole night. So you can make uh, the ID you can send. I will add you uh, because a lot of people will ask the question, they will participate in that and uh, you can just sit in for a while. What I mean to say 30 or 40 minutes will go very fast. Yeah. And you will learn a lot of things. Then I will send all those slides, the recordings and the each and every time thing. So uh, last time I have sent you what I mean to say uh, one presentation about the last lesson. Have you seen that presentation? Uh, the one you just sent me? Yes, yesterday. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and, so I, the one you sent me. Yesterday. And there was a recap uh, video also. A few minutes. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see the video. 
uh, just see, see uh, that video also that was the recap of the lesson so in this way if you are interested i will send the slide show and also the recap video for one or two minutes so you will have to keep all those with you and uh, you can recall you can see all those things okay is the right idea so right yeah it's fine i i will uh, keep on sending but the one thing is that you must see get yeah. your time anywhere it's in your uh, mobile what i mean to say you can get into the uh, whatsapp i am that's why i am whatsapping that so i am sending on the whatsapp so anywhere you are anywhere so you can just open it just look at that for a while so this will be the what i can say that is the repetition or revision for you so it's a handy uh, with you in your cell phone okay okay anyhow okay. it's a time to say uh, uh, good uh, goodbye allah hafiz thank you very much for joining allah hafiz, allah hafiz. so it's end